Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you part two of the how to build your photography website using uh, Bluehost and WordPress uh, and this is kind of the design portion. If you haven't seen part one, uh, part one kind of shows you how to get WordPress installed, uh, sign up for, for uh, Bluehost, get your URL, that kind of thing. Uh, if you want to use Bluehost for your website hosting, which is a very, very awesome service and we highly recommend that, link in the description down below. That'll take you to Bluehost and allow you to sign up uh, uh, using uh, using Bluehost and it automatically gets WordPress installed. It's just a one-click install. Uh, so let's go and get into part two of the design portion of the website. Okay, so we have a, a blank website and the way you can tell that is up here you see a little home button here. When you see that you can click the visit site and when you go there this is going to show you your live site. Uh, and we can see we have nothing on there at all. Uh, this is all the stuff that comes with your brand new site um, and it's just got just you know nothing found, no publishing post or anything. Uh, you got some of your widgets over here but there's there's nothing to show so we need to fill that up so the way we do that is we need to install a really cool theme that we like uh, a theme is basically the the way your website looks and what's beautiful about WordPress is WordPress allows you to choose from hundreds of thousands of themes uh, that are all free basically there are some paid versions of themes but most of them are free and the way you can find those is to go to appearance and you can go to themes and here as you can see this uh, the themes that we have installed we have just have these three uh, these are kind of like stock themes that come with uh, with WordPress but we want to add a new theme so I'm gonna click add new theme and here's where I can search basically a whole gallery full of themes that I want to use so I want to do a photography website obviously so let's type in photography and here you can see all these are mainly photography related themes and you can kind of get a preview of how they look and if you like one let's say I like this one here I can click on it and I'll get a, a, like a preview of, of uh, just stock stuff that's in here um, see how it might look uh, and that sort of thing I can even install it if I want to but in this one I don't really like this theme so I'm gonna click out of it and there is a theme that I really do like that it actually is not in this list and so you can search by genre which is kind of photography or you can search by the name of the theme if you happen to know of it and the one I'm going to use is called Blask and you can see it right there this is just a small preview it's a very simple theme a very clean simple theme uh, just to show off your photos really well and so I'm just gonna click install here alright and now that it's installed I'm gonna go ahead and activate it alright so let's see the difference of how our website looks all right, so there you go. It looks a little bit different from the uh, previous ones. We just have our little box up here, which was a preview. This is where your text for your the name of your website is going to go. And then we have nothing, <laughs> so we need to add that in there. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is create an About Me page. I want to make a, sm a simple About Me page just having like a photo and maybe some text in there. Uh, and it's going to be really simple to do that. So the way we do that is we're going to go ahead and create a page. So I'm going to go to Page and click Add New. And here is where I can title my page right here in the enter title here. I'm going to call it About Me. And then I'm going to go down to the paragraph section, and this will allow me to, uh, to type in anything I want. It's basically picture a, a Word document online. And so this is, I can put pictures in here, I can style it and everything like that. So I just have some dummy text here that I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste in here. And you can see it just kind of just fills in there. And this is just, it, it's, it's uh, filler text, so it's not going to say anything. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and now you can see I just enter down and now I can put a picture above here So I want to go find a good photo All I'm gonna do is click on select photo and just for fun. I'm gonna put this photo right here uh, it's, it's not of me, but it's actually of my camera. So I'm gonna go put that there uh, I would recommend putting a photo of you uh, But for this one for this little tutorial, it says that's how I'm gonna do it there I'm gonna put that little photo uh, So now you can hear over here on the side you can choose the size of your photo. I'm gonna choose large uh, See how that might play out uh, You can link it and you can make a hyperlink to it. You can actually align it if you want to I'm just gonna go ahead and say insert into page so there we go, the photo is loaded and now we have our text here. So let's preview how this page looks. And there we go, we got the about me title, we got the photo and we got the page, simple as that. And you can elaborate on this as much as you want to just so you can uh, you can fill it out with uh, gear, a list of gear that you use, more photos, more text, uh, and just make it very customizable. That's one awesome thing about WordPress is you can make pretty much anything customizable. All right, to get back, we're just going to go ahead and close that little window, and we're back to our, uh, our editor here, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit Publish. So now that has published the page to our live site. So I want to create a couple more pages, actually, to get ready for the, the different pages that are coming. So I'm going to click Add New, and now I'm going to make another page called Contact. 
So this is going to be a simple contact form. And so I'm going to go in here and you can see this button here is called add form. Uh, when you install WordPress, uh, most likely you'll get a small, simple form builder. Uh, and this one is actually through WP forms. And so you can click here and you can say, so you can select a simple contact form. You can say show title, show the description. I'm just going to just make sure the simple contact form is there. I'm going to click add form and you can see it puts this little short code. It's not really a form, but what that is, is it's drawing from a plugin that is installed on your WordPress and that is called WP forms. It's called WordPress forms. And so WordPress forms is actually a plugin that you make the form in. And this is a code that it generates to put on the page. So we'll get into plugins in just a minute. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and click preview. And there we go. That little short code actually represents a form. So here we go. Simple, simple form. You can go and fill in your name, email address, and message and hit submit. It'll automatically be sent to the email on file. So you can click out of that. And I'm going to click publish on that one as well. So you heard me talk about plugins. I'm going to go ahead and show you what plugins are. So I'm going to go over here to the plugin section. And these are little bits of software that are installed on your WordPress that allow you to do certain things. So as you can see, I talked about WP Forms, and that is this right here. Uh, this is basically just a simple form builder uh, that you can install on your WordPress. But and and since we're building a photography themed web page, I want to make a gallery. I want to put in a gallery on my on my web page to show my photos. So let's look for a plugin, and the way you do that is basically the same way as you would search for a theme. I'm going to go to Add New. And here are, is like a gallery of themes that you can choose from. Uh, these are just some basic ones here, but we can, again, search for more things. So I'm going to say photo gallery. And here are a bunch of plugins that show you uh, different, different plugins that allow you to do photography galleries. And so you can see here, let's take this one for instance. Uh, we can see right here it's got a very high rating, uh, 778 ratings. It's used by more than 300,000 plus active installs. It was last updated six days ago, and it is compatible with this version of installed WordPress. So I think that's a good one. So we're going to go ahead and install that one. So it has installed it in the same way you would do a theme. If you want to install it and then activate it, you can do that directly from here. So I'm going to click activate. All right, so that has installed that gallery plugin. So as you can see, as it installed, now we have a little photo gallery button down here. So we're going to click on that one here. And this will take me to a page, much like a, a, a page section in WordPress, where it will allow me to create a new gallery. So right here, I'm going to say add new gallery. And now we can give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, my portfolio. Uh, we can give it a slug, which is the end of the URL, but I'm going to leave it as blank. Uh, and then we can make a standard one. We can make an Instagram only one, which is kind of cool because it will feed off your Instagram post. I'm going to do a standard gallery. And here you can give it a description of the gallery. You can say, uh, these are the images of my portfolio. All right. And uh, now we can start adding our images. So I'm going to click on the add image button. And here's where we can upload the images we want to uh, put in our gallery. So I'm going to click here, upload. I have some images already that I'm going to drag over. And all I'm doing is dragging these from a folder on my desktop into this box. So I'm going to let go there, and it's going to upload those images directly to WordPress. All right, so there we go. There are my images in there. I'm going to select all of them, and I'm going to say add select images to gallery. So there we go. All of them are selected there. All of them are in the gallery. So now all I got to do is click save. So now I have my gallery. Now I need to generate a short code, um, much like I did with the form. I need to generate the short code to add this to my page. So I'm going to say generate short code. And here's where you can show the layout uh, of how you want your photos to be laid out. So you got like a slider, image browser. Uh, some of these are paid versions, um, but I'm going to choose the thumbnail view. And then I'm going to go down to uh, images per page is 30. I don't have that many, but uh, that's good to know if I want to upload more. And I think that's all of the changes I'm going to do. So now I'm going to click generate down here at the bottom. And this will give me my short code. So now I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to go make a gallery page. So I'm going to go back up to pages. I'm going to say add new, and I'm going to call this gallery. And now all I'm going to do is just pop that code in, so right there. So let's go ahead and preview how that's going to look. So there we go. We have our images there. Now we, you can see we can slide over them. Uh, they, they, you can click on them, and they could expand and make a larger image. Uh, you can cycle through them here just like that. It's got a nice little light box view. looks really good. Uh, so I like the way that looks. I might want to make them a little larger. So now I'm going to go back to my plugin. So I'm going to go back to my, my dashboard here. Go to Photo Gallery, go to Generate Shortcode. 
I'm going to change my image thumbnail dimensions. I'm going to change those roughly around the, si the actual size of the image. I'm going to go to 500 by 333. That's kind of what the, uh, the sizes of the images I uploaded. So now I'm going to click down here and go to generate short code again. I'm going to grab that code, copy and paste. I'm going to go back to my page here and I'm just going to refresh that. All it really did was change this number from one to two and that's really all it did there. So now I'm going to click preview. And there we go. I like the, I like the way this looks. Kind of like a long story view. Looks kind of fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I kind of like that. I'm gonna accept that there. So I'm gonna close out these tabs. I'm gonna click close there. I'm gonna click publish on my gallery page. And there we go. Now my gallery is uploaded. So I'm gonna create one more page, but I'm not gonna do it in here. I'm actually gonna create a blog page. A blog page is kind of where you know you can you can add a whole bunch of blog entries, and it really helps with your SEO. Uh, it helps keep people keep in touch with you and see what you're doing. So uh, the way I'm gonna add that blog page is I'm actually gonna to go to my theme customizer. So I'm gonna to go to appearance themes, and I'm gonna click the customize button. And this is where you can change the look and feel of your website. So you can see we have a site identity. Uh, we can change this to say, not my portfolio. We can say something else. Uh, we can say um, photography site 101 to match our URL. Uh, we can add a, t a tagline. We can say uh, my portfolio, and that will just add it there. If we don't want it, we can always get rid of it. Uh, we can click back here. We can change the colors, and this is going to allow us to change the background of our of our uh, website here. So you can see we can do a real time change of the colors. Uh, and some some themes have more adjustments than others, but this is a very very simple theme, and so it only has that one color change. You can actually add a background image if you want it. Instead of it being a color, you can add a background image. Uh, menus is we'll talk about that later. We need to add a menu to our site. Widgets are little things that you that you can kind of place at the bottom here. Uh, and they, you can add a widget and you can get a list of them right here. There's a lot of them to choose from. You can add a search bar so people can search your site. You can add cal uh, categories for your blogs, calendar, all kinds of fun stuff. You can play around with those. And the static front page we're going to get to in just a second. But if you're really, really advanced in uh, website building, you can also do custom CSS right here. So let's go back to the static front page. And this is where we can choose what page is going to display on your site when they first visit it. So I'm going to say a static front page because right now it's, it's going to list the blog entries that I want. And I don't want them to see that first. So I'm going to go to a static front page. And now I can choose the front page that I want. I can actually say the front page needs to be a gallery. So I'm going to click that one. And this is the gallery that we set up. So now when people come to the site, they're going to see a gallery. But I want to set up a blog page now. So I'm going to click Add New Page down here under the Post Page section. And I'm just going to title it Blog and click Add. All right, so now we have a blog page. And so what this will do is when we add a post, which I'll show you in just a second, when we add a post, it'll automatically feed to this page. So let's go ahead and save and publish here. And now let's go set up our menu to add to our site. So I'm going to click the X button here, and I'm going to go to Appearance and Menus. All right, so here is where we can uh, create our menu. And this is just going to be anything we want to add to our menu bar on our site. So we need to name the menu first. I'm just going to call it Main, since this is the main menu that we're going to be using. And I'm going to click Create Menu. And this is where I can add the pages. So I really only have these four pages here. I have a blog, About Me, Contact, and Gallery. So I'm going to click all of those. I'm going to say Add to Menu. And here they are. And what we can do is kind of arrange them a little bit. So I want to actually make the, the gallery up top. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, drag it up. Uh, I want to make the blog the next page. Contact, I'm going to make that the actual last page here. And say the About Me page is the third page here. So now I'm going to click Save Menu. And let's go preview our site. So now here's our page. We have our gallery here. It's automatically added there. Now we can click around. We have a blog page, which we're going to add a blog post here in just one second. Uh, we have our About Me page that we set up earlier. And now we have our Contact page. All right, so let's go set up a blog post. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And now I'm going to go to Post. This is where all of our posts are shown when we, when we add a new post. So I'm going to click Add New Post. So here we go. It looks exactly like the page section. And it basically works the same way. And so I'm going to call this... Um, tree of angels because I want to post a picture that was taken at the tree of angels uh, and I'm going to cl click down here and I have some more dummy text and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in there so right there and again I'm just going to add a photo at the top so I'm going to tab down here and I'm going to add a new photo so I'm going to click add media and this will allow me to select images that I have loaded into WordPress so I'm going to click on this photo right here I'm going to say it's full size and I'm going to click insert into page there we go. I like the way that looks. 
and we can uh, add some, maybe some more photos. Let's just go ahead and add some more here. Uh, again, I can do the same thing, add media. Uh, let's put this one down here, insert into page, there we go. And we can keep going on and on and customize it. Uh, we can bold some text, uh, that's what this is for here. One thing to add that, that you might want to consider is what's called a read more tag. And a read more tag is basically where we have this really long post, but we don't want everybody to see that right offhand. We want to give them like a little teaser and then allow them to click the read more button to uh, read the rest of the blog. And so we, what we do is click on this first paragraph here. I'm going to separate these two. And this little button right here, it says insert read more tag. I'm going to click that. And you can see it adds this little section here that says more. Uh, what this is going to do is when they visit the blog page, it's going to show just this two, these two sections here, and it's going to have the read more tag right here. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And now I'm going to go back to my website. Now I'm going to go to the blog page. So here we go. This is the first entry in our blog. Uh, people can leave comments over here. But as you can see, we have just the first paragraph and the photo. Now we have the read more section or the continue reading section. I'm going to click on that and it will take me to the long page, the uh, actual post page. And this is where they can leave comments. Uh, they can, uh, you know, thumbs up, share it, all that kind of fun stuff. So that is our main site. So let's go back to our home here. This is our gallery page. So this is our, our web page. This is our photography web page with some images here, with a blog post, with the about me page and a contact form so people can contact you. This is obviously a very, very simple site, but it shows you the basics of what you would need to further advance your site, play with some plugins, play with some themes, and get it to look exactly the way you want to. So hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on how to make a website, a photography website, using Bluehost and WordPress. Uh, thank you guys for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.